Hi, I'm so glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. As a single man, are you interested in building a relationship that will last a lifetime? Or would you rather move into something temporary that only serves your needs for the moment? I've been thinking about the similarities between building a house and building a relationship. It takes a big investment to build a home where you and your family can live and grow throughout your lives. But if you only want a shelter for the night or weekend, you can borrow or rent something temporary. That temporary shelter could be anything from a camping tent to a high dollar hotel room, depending on how much money you want to spend and the level of comfort you desire. Then, when you've had your fun, it's time to go back to the way things were before your brief vacation. This temporary fulfillment of your desires can be invigorating and refreshing. However, the letdown at the end of the weekend caused by losing the things you want most, like fun, excitement, and companionship that brings you comfort and delight, can be draining and depressing. In the end, that little bit of heaven is only an illusion that winds up costing you more than it's worth. That's why most of us desire more than just a temporary fix of a one-night stand. We want to have somebody to share time with who will be there when the vacation is over and real life and loneliness become our usual roommate. It takes time and a series of progressive steps to build a great house or lasting relationship. If you try to cut corners or skip steps, it will quickly fall apart. But when properly built, we have a lifetime of comfort and quality to enjoy. Consider the following five steps to building a relationship like we build a house that is meant to last for decades. Number one, site preparation. Just as it is necessary to clear and level the lot to build a solid foundation for your home, we must get ready to create the foundation for our relationship through preparation techniques. In my video, From Sad and Single to Relationship Ready, I explain the six steps you can take to do the work necessary to clear away any obstacles, remove negative thinking and patterns, and be completely open to creating a solid foundation and relationship with a partner. This step must always come first so we don't carry the baggage of past bad experiences into our new home and bury it underground, causing cracks and potential problems in the future. Number two, complete a sturdy foundation. Often the sewer pipe and sometimes much of the electrical conduit are embedded in the slab. This indicates that part of building the foundation of a relationship is having a system in place to drain out the negative and power the positive. Go back and revisit my videos that present the Attune and Venus Talk communication methods. These techniques will increase the bond between you and a potential mate along with providing an outlet for negative feelings to be dealt with so you both can let go of them. Then you can increase the positive feelings you have for each other and the spark of passion will stay alive throughout your partnership. Through regular communication and shared experiences, your bond will become as strong as concrete, providing the solid foundation necessary for a long-term commitment to a lifetime of love. Number three, framing. The same way that using plywood gives a wall rigidity and provides more strength, erecting a frame around a relationship provides us with shared understanding that gives us strength along with a feeling of safety. When we are ready to exclusively date another person, it is time to talk with our partner about our needs, desires, and non-negotiables. Discussing our boundaries of what we will allow within our walls and what is to be kept out inspires respect for each other and the relationship. When we spend time defining how things work best for us, along with what we can and will do in the future, we express our integrity and honesty, which leads to intimacy. For example, do you want to be exclusive with each other? Do you want to get married someday? Do you want to have children? What would cause you to break up the relationship? What commitments do you have that will affect your future? 
outstanding debt, family obligations, prior marriages, or children all need to be talked about while in the initial framing process. Within the framing for the house are windows, doors, and accommodations for internal walls. Windows provide the joy of light, fresh air, and the ability to see what is happening in the world around us while still feeling secure. The doors give us a way to leave when we need to grab an opportunity like a new job or additional education and then return through that same door to find support and comfort. Accommodations for internal walls means we recognize that although we are now a couple, each of us is still a unique individual and we need our own space to think and grow as a person. Even though we have these protective inner walls that give us time alone for self-care, we still live together within the house and share those external walls that define our relationship as a couple. Number four, the roof. Once the framing of the walls, windows, and doors is complete, it's time to add the roof. In a relationship, the roof installation is the point of total commitment. That means we will stick together through sunny days and storms. This is when a couple gets engaged or moves in together and announces to the world that they are committed to a long-term relationship. Most of us don't think much about the roof on our home unless it leaks or needs repair. That's how it should be with this commitment. If we've done the work of communicating and invested the time necessary to build a proper foundation through bonding and define the framing together, then adding the roof of commitment is the next logical step. And it is something we obviously want and need, not something we fear. In the future, should the roof leak or need repair, we must see to it immediately or suffer the consequences of expensive damage or rot. So if a hurricane of difficult circumstances such as infidelity, serious illness or addiction crashes all around you and your partner, Seek the help of a couple's counselor right away to avoid the expensive damage of divorce. Number five, plumbing and electrical. Working well together as a couple requires that you discover the things that bring you happiness and fix the things that don't. Keep your pipes running smoothly through daily communication. Plumbing also requires venting to allow pressure to escape. A good friend or family member can provide a vent for you when you need to release the built-up pressure from work or other problems. If you can get your complaints out of your system before you come home, it will be easier to stay positive and find solutions within your love relationship. Continue to power your positive feelings for each other by following through on your promises, meeting each other's needs whenever possible, and spending as much quality time together as you can. I've made several videos that address the many ways to keep your wife or girlfriend happy. Watch them again if you need more ideas to inspire a positive charge sparking through your relationship. Number six, finishing. The final step in the process of building a great house or relationship is finishing up with the decorative and functional features that make it your home. Every home and every relationship is unique to the individuals that live within it. One couple may prefer black and white structure with straight, even lines, and another may want to experiment with color and texture and change the furnishings around frequently. Just as innovation and invention give us new options in appliances, colors, and surfaces, relationships should evolve into what works for that couple. It could mean having a relationship that is very different from what your parents experienced. Don't rule anything out simply because it is non-traditional. What matters is that it is comfortable, functional, and enjoyable for both of you. Sometimes it requires compromising on her non-negotiables, so she will compromise on yours. But when there is a sturdy foundation built by the two of you through love, communication, and commitment, a happy long-term relationship is the reward. Build a relationship the same way you build a house taking the time to get each step done right before moving on to the next step, and you will learn to know yourself and your mate thoroughly and intimately. Then your partnership will grow and flourish in the years to come. Follow these five steps when you build a relationship with a life partner, 
a family member, or a close friend, and your life will be more fulfilling and positive than you can imagine. Let me know if you've used these steps or if you feel I've missed any steps in building a relationship by leaving a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to subscribe. I'll be uploading a new video every Thursday, as well as occasional bonus videos. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The softer side.